Let's talk about alcohol. Don't get too excited. <laughs> We're not talking about that. I'm going to talk about toxic alcohols, which is going to be a very important question on your board exams and, of course, the USMLE. So when I think about three toxic alcohols, I think of number one, methanol. methanol. And when I think of methanol, that's otherwise known as the wood alcohol. The second thing is going to be ethylene glycol. You'll probably find that in antifreeze. And the last one is called isopropyl alcohol. And that's what we call rubbing alcohol. And you'll see that on many lotions and many cosmetic products. And when will you get these questions on board exams? When someone comes in with an acid-based problem and you think it's because of a toxic alcohol ingestion. So what are my one-liner pearls? Well, of course, not only will they have a anion gap metabolic acidosis, well, let me take that back. Only two will. Which ones? Methanol and ethylene glycol. Isopropyl alcohol does not have an anion gap. That is a key pearl for the board exams. But all three are going to have a osmolar gap. And how do you get that osmolar gap? You're going to calculate serum osmolarity and you're going to measure it. And you're going to have a difference, probably greater than 10, to give you that osmolar gap. But what is my take home message is, well, if you suspect it, is it really the methanol? Is it really the ethylene glycol causing all the damage? The answer is, it isn't. It's really the metabolites, the breakdown products. So let me integrate a little biochemistry. So when we talk about methanol, what is the breakdown product of methanol? Oh, you guys are amazing. It's formic acid. And that could damage almost any organ in the body, especially the eyes. When we talk about ethylene glycol, what is the major breakdown product I worry about? Oh, you got it, oxalic acid. That could affect every organ in the body, especially the kidneys. So how do we treat it? Well, stop drinking, first off. That'll always be a good thing. But someone is going to mention alcohol. And you're right, in the olden days, we gave alcohol because the enzymes will break down the alcohol, not this toxic alcohol. But you know what? In the hospital, we don't like giving out vodka and Jack Daniels in the hospital. It just doesn't work out too well. So we use things like an antidote. And who could tell me what is the antidote for methanol and ethylene glycol toxicity? Oh, I heard it right through the camera. It's fomeprazole. Step one, pearl. How does fomeprazole work? What enzyme does it inhibit? Oh, you got it. It's alcohol dehydrogenase. I gave you too many pearls today. So if you want to get more, I don't know, I guess I'm going to say check me out on my website. It's beyondthepearls.net. Check out my books. Check out my podcast. I think you'd really enjoy it. And I'll see you for the next pearl.